Hi Audrey, how are you doing today? Hi. How are you I'm feeling? All right. I'm alright, I'm alright today, thank yeah, you. Yeah, good. It's nice of you to come down, you're busy at work and things. Can I get you a drink at all for anything? I'm alright for the moment, and thank Can you. I just check that you've got your phone turned off? Don't want to get interrupted during this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's off, off yeah. yeah. Right then, um, how are you getting on with your work at the minute? Um, alright. Yeah, um, I am struggling a little bit. Um, I, I don't... I don't really know what I'm doing on the call, so I am I am really struggling, and I know that I've I felt I felt like I didn't know what I was doing recently. Do you think it's the products you're selling? Do you think the team or? Um, a bit of everything. Obviously, it's been a very difficult time, and then when I, I moved, understand. um, I moved obviously from Barma to Beauty. Um, I don't I don't know the products. I know we had a little bit of training at the beginning, but I didn't understand it. Um, all the girls were a lot younger than me. And so they use all these wonderful makeups, but I, I don't. But it's nice to think the products are wonderful that you're selling. <laughs> but um, I don't want you to think that you've been moved from where you were comfortable before to where you are now because you've been doing bad. Because if you look at the KPIs that we've got in front of us, you, you were doing fantastic the whole time you were there. We understand that what happened in your personal life was hard to take and it might be a bit difficult to deal with. And we saw you went into your shell a bit. Okay. So, as a management team, we decided to move into a new area. Right. In hope to challenge you and maybe bring you out of your shell with some new people. Right. I understand it might have not gone fully to plan, and that's not your fault. But I just don't want you thinking that it was because of your poor performance or doing anything wrong. Yeah, I did wonder because I thought I was doing okay, even when obviously things really were bad. I was still, I knew my team, I knew my products, and I knew my clients, so work, work kind of carried on as normal. Yeah, but if you look at the KPIs again, you you peaked quite high at the time when the grievance was mainly going on. But we did notice you were getting a bit within yourself, even, even though you are doing well, you came within yourself. and We were more worried about you as a person, never mind the sales. We don't, we don't want our staff to be in a bad yeah, place. We I, just want to try and change that. I think I just kind of you know, used work as... A shelter. Yeah, pretty much. And when I was at work, I didn't have to think about things. Because yeah. I knew my job, I knew what I was doing. But now I just feel like... I can't, I can't use it anymore because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So it's even more difficult, just making everything a, a lot harder. Um, did you do the voluntary product training when it came to the new role? I did, I did. How did that go? Not particularly well, if I'm honest. Um, I'm thinking back, maybe I should have said something. Um, but all, like I say, all the girls were a lot younger than me, so they just knew what the sales, what the um, trainer was on about and knew about the different products already. Um, I felt. I felt a little bit daft if I asked any questions. A bit of a daunting experience, was it? Yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. So I, I just, I just didn't bother doing anything. Well, I understand. Then some of you coming from, sure, if I was in a situation similar to yourself, I, I don't think I'd want to speak up personally either. But in hindsight, it would have been better for you to have a quiet word with me. I'm always available for you to talk to, and just let me know how it goes. I appreciate that. I just think you know, I, it's just, it's just been really hard, and. Like I say, the, all the girls were a lot younger and that's a little bit daunting as well. I feel a little bit out of the team, whereas before we were all about the same age and so I yep. felt a lot more comfortable. But at the same time, I think by moving you over there, it was, it was a challenge, but your experience could be invaluable to that team with the younger girls. But with that, if it doesn't work out, we can show we can look to ways to improve things. Yeah, I mean, I'd be really interested in doing some training. Well... That was going to be the next point. I was going to say we can send you on. There is different lengths of courses, and if you are committed to try and get this area up, up, up and running, we can send you on like a week course, and you'll go away for the week and some kind of retreat, and you'll be intensive training. It might not be with everyone from the company, but quite a wide spectrum of companies all involved. But something like that would be really interesting. So it would be, you know, give me a lot more chance to, be able to talk to people about things yeah. and get a bit more interested. In things. I'm finding it because I'm not interested in the product. This might be a bit of a probing question, and I don't want you to feel offended or anything, but have you considered um, maybe speaking to the occupational health team within the company? Not yet, no. Well, it's nothing that I say you've got to do, or I'm just suggesting that if you would like to, it's not a daunting experience, it's quite a relaxed bunch of people, and you can take some time out of your working day and just nip over for a 20-minute, half-hour chat and see how things are going. It's all cost-covered, and you'll still be paid for the time you're in work. Okay. It's just try and bring you back up to the self that you were when you first started because ideally that's the work we'd like to see come back to bubbly. Yeah, I mean, I I appreciate obviously everything everyone's been doing for me. Um, 
I've not really, even though it happened, you know, obviously it's like, it's coming on for 12 months now. Um, nothing really started hitting me till about nine months ago. So it took a while for it all to sink in and be on my own and all the rest of it. So I think that's maybe when, when, you know, it's all started going wrong is when it's actually been affecting me. I know from personal experience that year mark is quite a difficult one to handle. So obviously, if you want to go there, I'll leave it at that and you can come back to me and let me know if you want to go see them. We'll book you in as soon as possible. Yeah, maybe we'll see see what's going on there. There's one thing, like, we've talked about how you're getting better and things, but we do need to try and address the fact that you are severely underperforming. And it's not, not we're not saying it's your fault, it's a collaboration of different circumstances, but okay. we do need to do as best to bring that back up because at the end sure. of the day, it is a sales based company. Yeah. So no, I understand. I know your targets are a bit maybe a bit higher than it for what's going on, so we can address them and maybe work on maybe a personal development plan and making your targets a bit more maybe achievable and close to home and don't have to worry too much on the actual sales but maybe personal development within the company. Yeah. No, that'd be really good, like if I could like broaden out a little bit and have them reduced and maybe maybe see how it's going and then build them back up. What do you personally think would be the ideal target for yourself in the company? Oh, Where um, would you like to see yourself in the next, from now and in the, from four weeks' time, what improvement would you like to see? I'd like to be back up to, you know, my 50s, definitely. Um, maybe even my 60s. Yep. Um, and just slowly, you know, get back up there and then be hitting my, uh, you know, my standard ones of about 90 to 100. Yep. Um, and get that many calls done. Um, so no, it's been, it has been really difficult, like having the motivation to do it all. And yeah. but at the same time, I like, I feel sometimes because of the, what the business haven't done for me, and I've still come in and I've still delivered. That I know there was talks of me not getting my bonus this month. That's something I personally, I don't agree with, with the situation when when I was younger and I went through. A grievance that I lost someone quite close to myself and I was in a situation where I lost my bonus and it really it quite got to me now I'm going to do the best I can to get you as much as that bonus I, as I can because as you see the time where you actually lost your parents you were doing really well mm. yeah I'd, I'd appreciate some of it I know obviously I'm not sure if you were but my financial circumstances now do you know I'm okay but the bonus is Joe it's that it, it what makes me feel like I've done a good job yeah so losing that just hinders that your motivation even more, really. I'd, I'd say that this lack in performance might be 50% down to us as company and maybe 50% your way. So if I can get you that 50% back, then that's the target job I can get. I can't guarantee it, but if I can get you 50% your bonus, then... I'd really appreciate that. It'd be really helpful. I wouldn't like to make any promises, so don't go spending any money you don't have <laughs> yet, but I can do the best I can. No, like I say, that, that'd be really appreciated. Yep. Well, let's see what's... Yeah. How's things at home, like your personal life? Just what do you get up to nowadays in terms of... Well, I'm, I'm just planning a trip to India. Yeah? I'm going for two weeks to India, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's the first holiday I'll have been on by myself. Is that in two weeks, you say? Um, in three weeks. Three weeks. I, Honestly, I, knew, I knew you had some time booked up recently. Yeah, in three weeks, I go for two weeks, so I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. Well, maybe today we could look to set some lower targets just to try and relax yourself before you get away and bring yourself down to a comfortable position. Um, and then when we get back, it's a fresh start and work from there. And there's no pressure of any disciplinaries or anything like that because, as we see from the past, you're more than capable of doing this job. And we'd love to see you back. Yeah, that's end. what's been annoying me is I know I can do the job. So not There's doing no doubt that, in that. Has, has been really bugging me. I think that's possibly you know, even helped towards the poorer marks. One thing I'd like to say, even with all this going on, I'd just like to say thank you for turning up. There's people who throw sickies and things, but no matter what's going on, you've turned up every day. And it, having someone turn up and do 50 calls and not having someone turn up at all is better than nothing. Thank you. So you still are making the effort and can work towards improving what's going on. Hopefully. Well, if you want to get back to the office, Thank and you. good luck for the next few weeks and enjoy your holiday. Thank you very much. And maybe we could meet you up about a month after you get back from holiday and see how things are going. Yeah, that'd be really great. Thank you. Thank you.